Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at Otis the Friendly Lemon from Cars 2. Now before we get right into the review or the discussion, let's start let's start with the unboxing. So here I've got his diecast, the metal logo and the Mattel logo and the the red background and his artwork and his name Otis. We've got the Cars logo. And on the back we've got the Cars 2 logo, the metal logo. And on the back we've got Miguel Camino, Green Ramon, Sheriff, Francesco Bernoulli. I don't remember I don't remember who that tuner is. Let me know let me know who it is in the comments down below. Anyhow, Lewis Hamilton and Sarge. And we've got 2021 Mattel, which was last year. And the Mattel logo and the RSN logo, also known as Racing Sports logo, which is covered by a by a tag which says Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Otis New and the code number X003 BBIHDA DX. So now let's get on with the unboxing. So here he is, Otis the Friendly Lemon. So Otis is a 1972 Shyster Kremlin who is, who is one of the many visitors of Radiator Springs. And is one of and and he and although he may be considered a lemon he is not he is not one of the other lemons that are the baddies unlike Grimm or Acer and is voiced by Jeff Garland who also provided the voice of Buttercup in the Toy Story trilogy and also provided provided somebody in Wally -E. guess who in the comments down below so anyhow Although he may be a shyster Kremlin, he shares the same similar body as Fred, even though, even though, you know, he's a stocky swaver EX like, like vinyl crusty Rodar, Floyd Mulvihill, and Murray Clutchburn. So. Both, so both of these two cars resemble a Lada Riva uh, 2107. So Otis's 1972 model resembles Fred and the Lada Riva 2107. He and the other shyster Kremlin in the cars world, Chick Hicks, is a 1979 model which resembles a 1986 Buick Re Regal. So both car models are very sim are very different. So anyhow, during by anyhow during his appearance in Cars 2, he broke down the tenth time and was leaking oil, and Mater had to come to his rescue. Which was his tenth toad today, and he and Otis said that that Mater hadn't leaked oil, which was actually 
true and Mater said that he and also told him that he is the one that is nice to lemons like him and one and asked him when when's Lightning McQueen that if Lightning McQueen had came home yet after winning his fourth piston cup in honor of Doc Hudson and when when Mater saw Lightning came was home, Mater rushed in with Otis towed behind him, and causes Otis. When Mater stopped, he inadvertently tossed Otis right into Ramon's body shop. Um, Ramon then asked Otis, uh, "How far could he make it?" And Otis replied, "Halfway to the county line, which I believe was the interstate." Then, at, during the ending scene, while Otis had broken down, yet was stranded yet again, but this time he was partially covered in dirt, and Mater had to come to his rescue another time, but this time with the rocket jets. And, and, he, and, he, and he again tossed Otis into Ramon's body shop and shouted, Thanks, Mater! So, anyhow, during his diecast releases, he was released three times as a single in 2011, during, in 2011 or 2012 during the Cars 2 diecast line, and in 2016 or 2015 as part of the 95 Return series, then had been released for 2022, for, which is this year. So anyhow, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here we've got his... Happy facial expression, his headlights and grill and gray bumper with mostly gray bumper. And on the hood, we've got yeah, his blue, light blue paintwork and a bit of a partially rust on it. And his gray side view mirrors. And, and on both sides, we've got the a gray lining and the chrome silver gray rims on his black wall tires and on the top we've got half half blue and half tan and on the back we've got the chrome gray bumper and the red tail lights and the names and his name tag Otis on the trunk and the and a letter O I believe and the license plate saying 060562 and on the trunk we've got a bit of rust on it and underneath it says Disney Pixar made in Thailand HFB 75 P51A Mattel oh and I also forgot to mention that we also have the exhaust pipe underneath. And let's see if Mater's tow hook can fit Otis's back bumper. So, so let's go. Um, um, not bad. Yeah, it kind of, the tow hook kind of works. And that is it. And now let's pull up some of the. Now let's compare him to Fre the his fellow rusty car, Fred. So here are some differences and similarities. Both are rusty cars, and both are considered lemons, and even though they are nice. So both are similar, but there are different models. Fred is a stocky Swaver EX, and while Otis is a 1972 Shyster Kremlin. Front license plate, no front license plate, mostly rusty, rusty all over, partially rusty. Brown rims on black wall tires. Chrome gray silver rims on black wall tires. 
Both have four doors and the side view mirrors. Rusty grill and headlights. Black and gray grill and shiny headlights. And the undercarriage, rusty, black, Although these, and for the scale, these two are, oh, I, oh, I also, I'm sorry, I meant back license, pl license plate on back? No license plate on back. I mean, why? Why would Fred not have a back license plate? So, the scale compared to these two are pretty somewhat close to each other. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Are they? So, is their size, are their sizes pretty close to each other? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Oh. So, now let's pull up some of the, the other Shyster Kremlins. Kremlin Chick Hicks. And the other lemons We've got Grim, Acer, even though these two are bad guys, and Fred, who shares the same similar body. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which lemon is your favorite, and which Shyster Kremlin is your favorite also? Let me know what you think, as well as leaving suggestions of which card to review next in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. Oh, and I also want to mention that today is the, the running of the Coke Zero 400 at Daytona Speedway at 10 a.m. at 10 a.m. So it was originally going to be 7 p.m. last night, but then it got delayed, postponed due to bad weather. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!